The Southeastern Wildlife Expo, or SEWI, begins tonight, and tourism experts say they are expecting a lot of people to come to the Lowcountry for this weekend filled with events. News 2's Taylor Murray has more. The Southeastern Wildlife Exposition kicks off this Friday, but setup is already underway all across downtown Charleston. This three day celebration of wildlife and nature is one of the first major events here in the Lowcountry that brings people from all over into Charleston, marking the start of tourist season. Head over to downtown Charleston and you'll probably see a crowd of tourists marveling at historic buildings and even asking for directions. The influx of visitors this week is because of the Southeastern Wildlife Exposition. And the Charleston Visitors Bureau says that tourist season always has a positive impact on the economy. Events like SeaWee start the season out strong with a multi million dollar impact. There's a $50 million economic impact into the county and into the region that we see. I mean, that's huge. And we're very excited whenever we see. Uh, the travelers that are coming from far and from near, it, it's one of those things that helps secure jobs. If you think about that the, in the low country, all of the restaurants, all of the hotels, uh, all of the hospitality industry, we thrive in times like this. One of the many things attendees can experience this weekend at the Southeastern Wildlife Exposition is a fine arts exhibit. Many of the featured artists are themselves visitors. Ryan Kirby from Boone, North Carolina has been painting for Siwi for years. He says that artists come from all over, but that locals who attend the event can still expect to see Charleston-inspired art. There's an incredible amount of talent. Um, people may or may not realize that this talent comes from all over the country. We have, have artists from Idaho and Montana, South Africa, so there's an incredible amount of talent. It's also a great um, uh, extension of the southern culture that's already in Charleston. You'll see a lot of uh, local marsh scenes, you'll see a lot of local you know, southern wildlife. So even though the artists are coming from all over the world really, the, the art is very uh, Charleston focused. The Charleston Visitors Bureau says that events like Seawee are just as much for locals as they are for tourists. They say that after Seawee, the next major event with national exposure is the Food and Wine Festival in March. In downtown Charleston, Taylor Murray, Count on two.